This week I'm having a chai tea latte with a double shot of espresso. It's always good, but it's especially great in the fall. It reminds me a lot of my very special next guest, the insanely talented and highly paid Christian McCaffrey from the Carolina Panthers. This is a cup of Joey with me, Joey Molinero. What are you drinking on? 100% Kona coffee from the Hawaiian Coffee Company. It's my, it's my personal favorite, but it's my it's a trailer park boys, but it's my favorite show. I feel like you're a really healthy guy. Is that like some sort of healthy brand of coffee? Uh, it's just pure black coffee, but I, I like the taste the best. I'm not, I'm not unbelievably picky when it comes to it, but I definitely have preferences over others. Nice. Well, I went with a chai tea latte uh, with a double shot of espresso. And my reasoning is because chai tea latte to me is better in the fall. You perform well in the fall. Double shot of espresso for 22. That's I love the, that. That's Tell you what, I'm a seasonal coffee drinker as well. Very seasonal. In the fall, it has to be. If I'm going to put anything in it, it's got to be perfect. If it's the summer, I'm not. A, I'm an iced coffee guy as well. I actually had two coffees prepared. I got also an iced coffee. Uh, just almond milk latte from this place right down the street. People talk about how you drink water and dehydrate yourself and you know you'll flush out the system but if i have like three iced coffees in a day the seal has been broken <laughs> you know what i mean I, I, exactly exactly I, I can't stop oh that's that's not coffee uh, that's my russian vodka congrats on um highest paid running back in nfl history thank you appreciate that yeah it was uh it's awesome that was something that was really cool made, made the made the offseason go by a little bit faster Good way. Walter Payton's, Emmett Smith's, Curtis Martin's, Jerome Bettis, all those dudes. Adrian Peterson, you you you're the highest one ever above all of them. I think you look back at some of those guys that you mentioned, uh, guys that I you know, watched growing up, watched kind of pave the way for running backs, and I think for whatever reason, running back position has been so undervalued. It used to be, you know, the quarterback, the left tackle, and the running back. I think were the highest paid offensive players. Now. You know, I think that you have this stigma that backs, you know, they, they, they get hurt easily, they're, they're not very durable, etc. cetera. Uh, but, you know, like you said, some of the names you mentioned, Emmitt Smith played 15 years, and uh, you know, look at what AP's been able to do and kind of just setting the tone for, for us young guys. And, and uh, for me to do that was exciting. And I look at, you know, a guy like Todd Gurley as well, who and Zeke, who signed big deals, and continuing just to kind of up that market for running backs, I think, is important, because at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to getting paid, you do root for those guys to get paid because the running back position is such a, uh, right now it's undervalued and, you know, it, it goes in ebbs and flows, but uh, it, it was cool and, you know, to, to see the outpour of, of other backs around the league who congratulated me meant a lot as well. Everybody during quarantine has been just spending like crazy online shopping because we don't have anything else to do. You get this highest deal in NFL history for a running back. I mean, what, what's what's Christian McCaffrey buying? Bought a couple cars, I did. And I, I hadn't bought a car since I've been in the league. And I told myself, I get to that next deal, I can kind of get get a dream car. So I'm a big, uh, you know, growing up in Colorado, I think everybody either had Jeeps or trucks. So I wanted to get a truck. So I got a, I got a Ford Raptor, which I was really excited about. That was you know, one of my favorite uh, trucks right now, the 2020. So if, you know, if I ever go, I'm, I love the fish. So I'll take it to go fishing, go shoot guns, whatever it is. and then. I got a, I got an Aston Martin. I went for it. And oh my it. god! That, yeah, big James Bond guy. So that for me was something that I've wanted for a really long time, and told myself, you know, I got to earn it. So after that, I, I, uh, I gave myself a little treat. Yeah, yeah. So are you big James Bond guy? What, what, what's your favorite um, era of James Bond? Are you old? The Daniel Clark? Craig era. No, oh. I'm, I'm a Daniel Craig here. Uh, isn't Idris Elba, and, or who's who's going to be the next one? I heard rumors that it was going to be uh, a couple different guys. I heard rumors that one of them was going to be uh, Cillian Murphy, the guy from Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is also one of my favorite shows. So I was excited about that, but we'll, we'll see if that happens. I'm not sure. Okay, so you like Trailer Park Boys? I've never watched Trailer Park Boys. I've seen a, a lot of really good oh, things. You love about it. it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of really good things. Peaky Blinders. What else? What are your what 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 shows you've been watching? I don't know if you've seen Yellowstone, but what is that? It's kind it, of taken over on Twitter. Oh, uh, it's it's unbelievable. It's, I think it's right now. I mean, I just finished season two, and it, I'd be willing to say it's up there with uh, with some of the best top three for me for sure. Kevin Costner basically owns. He's the father, kind of the main character. He owns this ranch, the biggest Rhode Island called Yellowstone. So yes, it's the park in Montana, but it's 
it's his ranch and uh it's kind of him going through you know he's got a pretty big family who grew up on the ranch as well and it's kind of just just the family struggles that they go through of uh, running the ranch and then you have a lot of people you have the Native Americans who want their land back then you have the uh, you know kind of the city people who want to gentrify the park and make it kind of a destination spot so you watch Ozark so that's my next one on the list that's the, everybody says I gotta watch Ozark and I still haven't seen it. I feel like from what you described with Yellowstone you'll be you'll be into Ozark it's it's pretty yeah interesting stuff. But it's, yeah, and it's, I, I like Breaking Bad and I like Dexter and everyone says you'll like Ozark. You got Aston Martin, you got a big old truck. I know you got a tattoo as well. Can you can you show off the ink a little bit? Yeah, yeah I got to say, yeah. I've wanted one for a really long time, so I told myself I'd get one. Well, okay, we got to uh, know. A compass, what is it? It's a compass with these two lines represent my parents kind of bringing us together. and. The directions are MCDL, which are my brother's initials, and then the 5280 right here is is the Mile High City, so 5,280 feet. Wow. Ran a mile. Anyone who's from Colorado, they say oh, 5280, whatever. So, uh, but it's basically just kind of my family always lead me in the right directions of where to go. That's why it's a compass, and then two lines. My parents kind of bring that together. So. Were they shitty about it? What were their thoughts? I mean, you're a grown man. No, they, they, yeah, no, they, I mean, my, back in the day, my, my dad used to say I wouldn't be in the will if I got a tattoo, but I <laughs> tested him on it, we'll see. But anyway, I, uh, I, uh, I just went for it. It's something I've wanted for a really long time. And, uh, you know, I, I, I like it too, cause it, it, you know, means something to me. And so I want all my brothers to get it. I know my, my parents, now they don't really care as much, but, uh, I think it'd be cool if all my brothers got it. I'm still trying to push them to do it, but Love I can't it. really ever see it either. So it's not like it's in my face all the time. Are you going to get any more? I kind of have the bug now, but I think I'm going to wait. You know, I'm going to wait till I kind of factor all the emotion out of it and, and wait. Let's ink my stink. <laughs> they talk about once you get the ink, you know, and you go under and then you just keep wanting to go back. Yeah. They're 100% right. So I got. I've got, this is kind of like my canvas right here. I'm working this whole yeah. thing. I don't know if I'll get a full <laughs> sleeve, but I'm working the full thing. So I got my wife's initials on my wedding ring finger. That's awesome. I got, we got three cats. So I got really? a cat right there. <laughs> I'm a big cat That's guy. That's awesome. Yeah, we got a little, uh, actually Ruby, our our oldest child, she's like a, a Black Panther almost. So it kind of looks like, you know, what the Carolina oh, that's awesome. is like. You'd like her. Yeah. And then I got this, it's real hard to show. That's I'm a huge Cubs fan, and so this is okay. uh, the Game Seven final score with some Ivy like from Wrigley. That's hilarious! I love that. Yeah, yeah. So last last year, I had the first overall pick in my friend's fantasy football draft. Okay, and I sat there until about five seconds left to go on the clock for my pick, and it was between Saquon Barkley and Christian McCaffrey. The age old debate for fantasy football. I hear it all the time. And I, I hear it all the time. I, and I feel badly now. You know, I, I took Saquon. I don't. I don't know why. I. I, I really don't know. I. I don't, I don't know if it was like his quads or like I don't. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but I, well, I, I tell you what. He. He. He's, it's not a bad pick. I tell you that much. I would have. You know. That's. That's tough. I think. You know. Especially if he didn't get hurt. He's. He's one of the. One of the best players to ever play, in my opinion. And obviously. Young still, but if he keeps it up, definitely will be. So I, I can understand why you picked him, but you know, and anything can happen too. That's the thing about football is I actually hear people tell me that all the time. Like, man, I picked Saquon over you. I'm so sorry. I'm like, don't be sorry. Like, it could happen next year. You pick me, and then he goes. You know what I mean? You just never know what can happen. Yeah. So yeah. he's a guy who he'll be consistently um, an unbelievable player for a long time. So. Like I said, my my pick ran down, and I just like Saquon, fine. And then literally, my buddy. It was the second pick, like before the clock even started for him, he took you, and then he ended up winning the league. So, Ooh, you know, you know, you, you did you did him well, and I feel like it's nice. Like so often, people probably come at you about like bitching about fantasy football. So it has to be weird in your end when people are like apologizing to you for fantasy football. <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm so sorry I didn't pick you. I, I, you know, you don't got to apologize to me. I didn't lose anything. <laughs> Saquon has uh, 
he has that nickname like you know Sa- Saquad or Saquads because of his legs and everything like that. Do you think is there is there something that uh, could be a nickname for you in, in terms of that besides CMC or CMAC? I think it has to be very, you know, proportionately bigger than everybody else's, and I'm a humble guy. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh... <laughs> I, see, you know, that's that's one of his defining features. To me, you got you got a you got a jaw going. You know, you got a jawline going. I don't think I'll ever be a nickname guy. I don't think I'll. I think it's just you know. I think I'll just be me, and that's I'm fine with that. I've I've come to the, I've come to grips with I'll just be you know Christian or whatever C Max you know. But I don't think he'll ever come up with like a say quads or something <laughs> else like that. Uh, CMC, did you ever listen to Run DMC? Tell you what, I did a little bit. My mom knows, like, my, I mean, I'm pretty crazy. She knows, you know, every kind of old school rap, uh, any old school rapper in the history of the world, and, and any kind of like hip hop, she'll she'll know all, all the different words to it. So, so you got uh, 99 overall. And Madden, is that um, you know he got some cool shit along with that? What all came in the Madden box? The Madden box was cool. They gave uh, it was. I mean, I've been playing Madden forever. And I used to create players to be 99, so it was cool. And you know, I got it naturally. But the box was amazing. It, it had like a first off, they sent this massive painting bigger than my door, uh, which was really cool. And then I got a. Uh, a nice chain. I'm not a huge jewelry guy, but it's something that you know, I can tell people I have. Uh, it's got like the Mad 99 logo on it. Then I got a uh, the plaque, the chain. They sent a nice letter. The box that came in was pretty cool. It looked like a treasure chest. Um, so they sent they sent a few cool things in there. It was, it, they they did it right. It definitely made it made it feel cool. You're one of few of the people who are 99, so like you should be allowed to like flaunt it, but you kind of feel like. I don't know. You you don't want to be like a douche or anything, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's something that uh, that's cool to hang up in the closet to, to change. But you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's funny. I was actually thinking about this the other day how how much credit we give video games. You know, I mean, Madden Madden's a video game, and it's like the coolest thing ever to get ninety nine and a rating in a video game. It's, uh, is a funny concept to me. I think that would have been laughed at 25 years ago. And the funniest part, they could take it away week one. You know, if I don't play well, I'll go down to like a 92 or something. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. a, lot of, a lot of pressure to maintain the, there's, there's no going up from there. <laughs> it kind of saved you a little bit because everybody has been seeing their Madden ratings and is, you know, making a fuss on Twitter and like bitching about it and everything. Yeah. You're kind of, I'm cool. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I got nothing. To, I got nothing to bitch about. You know, being a 99. I think, uh, <laughs> although my strength was a 72, which is a little disrespectful. What? Yeah, it's all right. The night I can't. I can't complain though. See, I can't complain because there's a lot of other guys in the league who, you know, I think, you know, have a little bit more leeway complaining. What was your speed? I think I had like a 90, 91, something like 90, 91 speed, 92 maybe. So they had to give you something. That wasn't that, you know, like it couldn't all be great. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> they had to pick strength. I was like, eh, whatever. Speaking of that, so it was funny. You posted that that picture where you, you know, look real cool and you're like wakeboarding or whatever on Instagram or what? what is that called? <laughs> is it paddleboarding? Or what paddleboard. It? Yeah, paddleboard. Yeah, yeah, paddleboard. And, uh, and, and I commented and I was just giving you shit and I was like, we get it, dude. <laughs> out and all this stuff. And then I had all your fans coming at me, calling me fat <laughs> and calling me lazy and like all this stuff. That's hilarious. And I was like, hey guys. We, They're loyal. You know, <laughs> they absolutely are. But I was like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize. Yeah, I you, can't, that. you can't bust balls anymore online, I guess. People take everything a little too seriously. Right, and I didn't want to be like, "Hey, it's all good, man." We like you know, <laughs> know each other online and talk. I'm just giving them shit, but people were, yeah, yeah. I had people saying like, "Well, what do you do? Do you work out? Like, what? You just <laughs> mad because you're like, you know, yeah. chunky and lazy?" And I was like, "Guys!" <laughs> all of a sudden, they just came at every single thing of your life. We all have that one friend. You you tell a joke and they take it way too serious, get all personal. That's that's about 95 percent of people online. That's what you can't even respond. Gotta Dude, take I it to the chin. Your yeah, mom, your I mom appreciate the loyalty. Me. Yeah, your mom follows me on Instagram. Oh, my mom sends my mom sends me all your stuff. She thinks it's hilarious. 
No way. He's probably your biggest fan. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. He's very active on Instagram. So that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I gotta I gotta give a shout out then to Mrs. McCaffrey. That's great. I'm a blonde hair, blue eyed guy. You're a blonde hair, blue eyed yeah. guy. You know, so uh, do you have any? Because I'm trying to get to look like you, man. What would be like? What's your diet? <laughs> what's your diet routine? What's your? I've been running stairs. I've been watching my calories. What do you do? I do a lot. It's a, it's a very tough question when people ask you. What do you do for training? Or can you send me your workouts? It's, it's very difficult to kind of put it into one because there's a lot of different things that go into it. But I just uh, like take like, your, take like your warm up. And that'll be like diluted down enough for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll I'll send it to you. It's a lot. I'll, I'll just shoot it to you after this. But it's uh, <laughs> I mean, it depends on the day. You know, I do a lot of a lot of like I I pretty much train like I'm a track athlete, and that's okay. you know with a couple football days of of doing some drills in between there. But track's been a big emphasis. Obviously, speed's the most important thing in football. So anytime I can get faster, more efficient, that's that's kind of what I attack. But as far as diet goes, you know, I I. I think the biggest thing that I would do if, if I were somebody trying to, you know, get in shape, I'd eliminate gluten and eliminate dairy and then go from there and just kind of see how you feel after that. Do you do cheat It's not day? as hard as you think. Yeah, I'll do a cheat day. I'll, I uh, I have to mentally, otherwise I'd kind of drive myself crazy. And sure. I, I have a sweet tooth actually too. So I, I enjoy my cheat days. I love, you know, Chinese food. Uh, if I'm gonna have a dessert, Oreos, you know, I could eat a full sleeve in five minutes. It's my probably my favorite, my favorite go-to. I love Cool Ranch Doritos. So Double I give myself. No, nah, I'm a classic guy. I, I don't Ooh. like I don't like too much in the middle. Yep. So. Are we twisting and getting the cream? Are we just eating them straight I'm, up? I'm I'm simply I'm simply dipping it in the milk. You know, for I don't have a time. It's more of a feel thing, and then eat it. That's it. To each their own. You know, the cream, yeah. the pill, like, <laughs> I, you know, I, I guess, you know, to me, it sounds it's crazy. too much. It's about, I think it's about balance. You know, for me, the cookie part is the best part. The cream is, the, is an accident. It's like having a cake with overpowered and frosting. I think there's a good, there has to be a balance. There has to be some sort of um, measurement of how much is too much. And I think a double stuff, to me, it's, it's taken away from the beauty of the actual cookie. I, I'm not sponsored by Oreo either, but that, that <laughs> should be after that. That's a hell of a... <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that, man. Yeah, you get some some originals. You'll keep those alive yourself because yeah. you're the only person who doesn't like the double stuff. Um, all right, man. Before uh, before I let you go, I gotta I gotta ask how's how's the relationship going? How's how's the lovely Miss uh, Golpo? It's going really well. Yeah, it's going really well. We uh, we're doing great. She's awesome. No, no complaints there, but. You know, all is good. All is definitely good. How'd that come about? If you don't mind, me? like, what's the, how did how did C Mac end up with uh, with uh, Olivia? Cole? Yeah. So my uh, one of my buddies who played at Stanford, his name's Tyler Gaffney. He uh, his wife is really good friends with her, and they introduced us one time when I was in. I think I was in San Diego. Actually, I had a I had an appearance there, and we were all there at the same time, which was kind of ironic. We were both very busy at the time. So Kind of hit it off from there. Love it, man. Good deal. Yeah, That's awesome. Well, um, very happy for you. Very happy for uh, your your success on the field, your success off the field. I really appreciate you linking up with me and, and having the having a cup of Joe with me. So yeah, um, I, I appreciate know it, man. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. Definitely big fan. So I mean, I think the whole McCaffrey clan are big are big fans of you. So they'll be excited to see this. That's that's an honor. Uh, tell him I said hey. Um, I'll do the same with my mom. And um, yeah, I, I, will be, I know we'll be talking. So um, appreciate yeah. it again and uh, have a good one, brother. No problem. Thanks, man.